beautiful, and of course, she deserves the best in his life. Huh? Thank you. Uh. Hi. <laughs> you know, each time you travel, you always get me this. I always look forward to it. Of course, of course, of course. I always give you the best things, of course. Always, always, <gasps> always. Um, baby, I have to... <laughs> I have to be on my way now. Huh? Mm -hmm. Go home? For what now? Uh, what do you mean you have to go home now? You've only spent like... About three hours. What? Three uh, hours? Yes, now. Wait, are you asking me? You don't know the reason I need to go home. Why would you want to go home? For Seriously. What? No, for hey, what? Hey, God, this guy. Look, I don't want my father hmm, to come here looking for me and you. Because if he does, <laughs> all my big girl will just drop because he will so embarrass me. Please let me Please go stop home. Stop this now. Stop this now. You're an adult. What is this? Okay, okay. Let, let me make it. Let's do it one more hour. One more hour with me. I drove all the way from the city to see you, you know. Stop, Bruno. You know. You're telling me no. Look, it's not like I don't want to spend all the time in the world with you. I want to. But you see, my father, he would not let me shine. That man is a dictator. Disciplinarian, you know the rest of the story. Please, let's go. Uh, what's it? Look, I'm not happy. Uh, Just one more hour. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. You see, I honestly can't wait to leave that house. I want to leave. Like, <laughs> if I can graduate from that man's <laughs> claws. Oh my God, I'll be the happiest woman on earth. Come on now. Come on. I mean, you just... I mean, this man should realize you're grown. At least, you know... Sadly, he doesn't. He doesn't know. I, I give up now. I mean, but I'm coming all the way, driving all the way to see you, and I'm now still going I mean, to we've see not stayed, you. We've not had enough time. Every time your father, your ha. father, come on, Cynthia, Cynthia, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I'm not. I'm, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I'm going to make you happy, Cynthia. Yeah. Um, so, uh, clear here up, okay? Let me go drop uh, this daddy's girl. Daddy's girl? <laughs> yeah, hey, 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 don't touch my wine, okay? Don't touch my wine. Like, Your seriously. Father, don't touch my wine. Cynthia, please. finish this wine. Finish In what? In fact, this one is for you. <laughs> don't touch my wine. Don't touch my wine. Let's go. Come on, go up it, my daddy. Don't touch my wine. I've told you. All right. Thank you. Uh -huh, Boniface, Boniface, uh -huh. why I did not see you yesterday uh, to deliver your uh, 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 yesterday account. Uh? See, now, Boniface, wait, listen, listen, Boniface, Boniface, listen. I did not give you that cake for you to be telling me stories. Uh? See, my name is Opuego. That means I don't joke with the money. You will not go with some of your angels in that quarter. What's your problem? See, you see that cake you are driving. I have it up to 45 on the road. And if other drivers are doing the way you do, do you think I will make it? Eh? Others have uh, 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 delivered their yes in that account, except two, and, uh, two other people, which I have called them. And they only done that way uh, with their money. Uh, hey, hey, first, listen, listen. I am giving you 20 minutes to bring my money. Else, I will take that ticket from you and give it to another person. Eh? I will not want you again. What's your problem?
relax now. Ah, relax. Okay. <laughs> like I said, I'll leave for the city first thing tomorrow morning. And then I'll get back here next week. Next week. Next week. I said next week, Thursday. I'll be here. And then when I come, you know, we'll start the process of everything, you know, getting to meet your parents and telling them, you know, of my intentions so that you can come and stay in the city with me now. No, I can't wait. I know you can't wait. I can't wait to leave this village. I'm also tired of coming here every week to come and see you. Yeah, the one just wasting time. Just do what you have to do so that I can, I can leave this village with all these village boys disturbing hey, up and down. stop. I know you're not giving them any attention. Of course not. You're not Who giving them any time? listening here. Uh, so what now? Huh? But see, you have to come back by next week. Next week, Thursday. I promise. I promise. Okay? Smile for me. Smile. Ah, you like Jakara. <laughs> And block your ears, keep blocking your ears. <laughs> don't listen to nobody. I don't, eh? I don't want to cry, it's okay. Don't cry. I miss you. I miss okay. you. My dear. Bye. Look at you. <laughs> All right. Aha, uh -huh. welcome. What is the matter now? I was hearing your voice from from the road. Why are you always having issues with all these your keke drivers? Why? What is going on again? Those criminals that drive my keke, they want to eat my money. Eh? Look at Boniface. He did not deliver his uh, uh, yesterday account. Yeah. Papa, you are always having issues with all these your keke drivers. Oh. Did I hear you say yesterday's account? Just yesterday's account. Only yesterday's account and you're shouting like this. Anybody who hears your voice will think that the money is like maybe five days account or even more. My friend, will you shut up? What do you know? Huh. That yes, that account, do you know how much it is? <laughs> do you know how much they sell, cake, they sell cake in the market? Don't worry. I know what to do. I will change the pattern of my business. Any of them that, 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 that does not want it, sh I, I will collect my cake from him. What is it? <laughs> Papa. I know I do not have what it takes to advise you on this your keke business because I know nothing about it. But one thing is for sure, you can't have all your keke packed here without drivers. It means you need them. Okay, so my advice is just for you to calm down and take things easy with them because they could decide to return your keke or better still even run away with your keke. What will you do then? Just take it easy oh, and use sense to follow them. You shouting and acting like a dictator would only make them, you know, start thinking otherwise. My friend, will you shut up? That keke they are driving. Do you know how many people that are going around the whole city looking for even way to push? Huh. And I give them a whole keke. And you're here, you, you are standing here telling me, hey, 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 hey. But they are paying for it and I give you, it's not like you dash them the keke or you are doing them a favor. Uh-uh. You are doing business. You are collecting money for the keke. Papa, speak for me, I'm just... Ma, ma, for, who should... By the way, who was that person I saw just drop you with a car? I would think I didn't see you. Ah, Papa I was not hiding. I wasn't sneaking around. Ah, ah it's um, Sopuruna, my, my husband to be. He just dropped me off. Your husband to be? Yes, Papa. Does your mother and I know him? Ha Has he done anything on your head? Have I ever seen him for the first time? And you stand before me, telling me I, he's your husband to be. Listen, I don't want to see both of you again. I don't want to see both of you again. Papa, Until I see him here to tell me his intention. I don't want to see both of you again. Papa, everything is gradual and it's a stage. I did not say he's my husband, though. I said he's my husband to be. That's because I know he has not done anything on my head. Anything formal. He's my husband to be. He starts from there. He'll come and see you. Papa, how can you say you don't know Sopuru? You know him. Is, is, is he not a um, late uh, Mazi uh, Ofona's son? Everybody knows him. I know you know him. Uh, I know him as a Sopuru, but I don't know him as my son in law to be. Yeah. Listen, uh, uh, Ugoma, I don't want to see you with that boy again. I don't want to see both of you again. Hmm. Papa, you can't say that, too. You can't even say that. How? Why? No, why? What? what? Papa, please, oh, please. You can't even see. You can't just conclude that yet. Please, oh, don't conclude that, oh. Put that on my side. Huh. 
Get out of my sight. Papa, you can't say that. You can't even say that. My husband to be. I can't say you, Negi. I'm not one for long speeches, but you might know. Uh, but to cut a long story short, um, myself and your daughter, uh, we are, I mean, we have been friends, and indeed we have been, you know, actually more than friends. And um, <laughs> uh, to further, you know, say more, we actually have taken our relationship very seriously and this drink represents uh, me coming formally to let you know of our relationship and how you know strongly we are taking it to somewhere yeah i thought as much i thought as much uh, like i said earlier uh, i know why you're here but i just want to hear it from your mouth uh, because uh, my daughter has been telling me so much about you and now you are here. Uh, that shows that everything she told me is true. And uh, I have to call my daughter. Maybe she must have one or two things to tell us. Hmm? Uh -huh. um, Beate! Beate, please! Uh, uh, come, 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 come. I am in um, uh, please. Welcome. Uh, 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 this is ma. Thank you. Yes, ma. Please, come and come out. this drink is too expensive. Well, of course. <laughs> well, of course, na, your daughter is expensive as well. Of course, of course, of course. Of course. Awa. Yeah, why you so hard? Uh huh. Um. Um, my daughter. My daughter. Ah. Ah. It's bad. I'm. I don't know who I am. I don't Um. I'm sure you know him. Hmm. Uh, he just walked in here and told me he wants to marry you. That's why I asked your mother to call you, so that we hear from you. Because uh, this drink is for this purpose. Let me know if I should open the drink or... <laughs> Man, I, I'm sure I will open it. Uh, so... <clears throat> um, yes, I, I know him. And I'll marry him. Eh? You know him? And you want to marry him? Oh yeah, we know quite the good man. Oh my god. Um, uh, so for my son. <laughs> you had my daughter. She said that she knows you and she wants to marry you. Um, what you have to do is that you will now go back to your people and arrange with them. And no way to come and do the necessary thing. Eh? She's your wife. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, uh, but uh, if you would forgive me, sir, I would like to also ask for, you know, a list, you know, for, for, you know, your <laughs> very... Okay, you mean the magic list? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. Sir. Uh, um, I am not the chairman of um, of Omuna. And uh, no, don't worry, before the end of tomorrow, you will get the list. Okay, sir. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Ma, thank you so much, Ma. Thank you. Thank you. If I would, uh, you know, take my leave now. Because ah, so please. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Um, my brother. <laughs> you thank you, Ma. Thank you. Um, she will, 
<laughs> I'll send that to you, Mark. <laughs> yes, Mark. Hey, come on. When does it come? Hey! This is for men, not for women, so I don't want you to touch this thing. Where you, your daughter put to bed and you go for Mungo, uh -huh. you take all your abadas, you judge, you paralyze or all the rest, but you see this one. Uh -huh. Don't play with this one with me. Hi. 22 bars of yam. 11 cartons of beer. Five bottles of hot drink. <laughs> I mean, this is nothing now. Why, why did these people make this thing look so difficult? Eh? Sewing machine. This is not. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, brother? Yes. Brother, I, I want to talk to you. Uh, uh, yes. Okay, sit down, sit down. <laughs> Uh, this is not funny. Can you imagine? Yes. Um, brother. Yes. I want to go and uh, see my mom and my siblings. Probably stay there a week and spend time with them. Uh, I'm missing them. You want to go and see your mother and siblings? Mm -hmm. And stay there with them. <laughs> you know I know you very well. Why do you want to go and disturb that woman now? No, this is her farming season, so why do you want to go and disturb her? Um, brother. Uh, what? The, the what is the major reason? Tell me, what is the problem? Brother, the truth is, this compound is very big. It's too big. I can't stay here alone and it's boring. I'm lonely. Uh -huh. I'm very scared <laughs> at night. What, what, what's making you scared? What's making you scared? We have a vigilante, they work very well. What's making you scared? Eh? Yeah? What's making you scared? And I also sponsored the unit that is right in front here. But compound is big. What is the major reason? You are bored. Mm -hmm. You are bored. Okay. Lonely. You are bored. lonely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, your brother Tochuku just finished uh, his GSS, right? Yes, brother. Uh, good. So this is what I'll do. I'll call your mother hmm? and ask her to let Tochuku be moved here. Uh, he will change school. Okay. Would that be fine by you? Very fine. He will stay here with you, so no more boredom. Very fine. That will be fine. Very fine. Okay, can I have my food now? As soon as possible. Can it be very hot? Very hot. Thank you. I'll get it for you, don't worry. Thank, Thank you, brother. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Rapper. <laughs> yeah, this, this is... What do you mean? No, what, what are you saying? What are you saying? Eh? That the market is bought? How? How? How, how do you mean? Eh? You be like... Hey, what are you doing? I get my things out of there. I get my goods out of there now. Get my goods out of that place. You can't go in. Meaning what? Meaning what? See, I'm coming there now, now, now. I'm coming, I'm coming there. The shop, my shop is being burnt everywhere. It's burnt. Go open the gate. Are you okay? Cynthia, what is wrong? Where is your, where is your brother? Is it... Cynthia, talk to me. Why is Sopuru? I think there's a problem. I think there's a big problem. Is Sopuru sick? Where is he? Because I've been trying to call him on the phone. He's not picking up. And I still gone back to the city. Talk to me now. What is it? I see one of his boys called him this morning. That the market was on fire. Including his three shops. Everything in the shop is burning. 
He had to run. He had to rush back to the city. I don't know hey. what's happening right now. Everything. <sighs> His shops. On fire. That's what this boy said. Hey! Godo! Godo, Godo, this is not true. This cannot be true. God, this cannot be true. This cannot be true. Hey! Um. Okay, so. Hey, God. Uh, hey, God. Wait. I'm Where are you going to now? I'm coming. Hey, God. No. God, don't let this happen, please. This cannot happen. This cannot happen. Oh. I'm finished now. Hey, my one is finished now, Mama. Hey, God. Mama, where are we going to get money to pay for my marriage, right? If we get married, how are we going to feed? How are we going to feed? Hey! God has shaped me. Mama, it's true now. He, he called me by himself. There's no so rude that called me some 30 minutes ago. Confirm it to me that all the shops are burnt down. The three shops burnt to ashes, including the goods in all of them, all gone. How can somebody lose all he has worked for all his life in one day? It's not fair now. Hey, how can this even happen to one human being? How? Hey. Oh, God, I'm finished. I'm finished, though. I'm finished. Hey. It shall be well, oh. It shall be well. How is it going to be well? When is this going to be well? How is he going to pick up his pieces? How is he going to start life? When and where and how? How can somebody lose everything in one day, Mama? Three shops and all goods gone just like that. Hey, Mama, this is bad luck now. This is bad luck. Hey, God. God. What is happening here? And you go, why are you crying? Hmm. My. That is problem. That is problem. Soporos Market was on fire. And his three shops got burnt, including the goods inside. Huh? Who gave you this news? Sopro was still in this village this morning when one of his boys called from the city telling him what happened. He rushed to the city to confirm. He just called Ugomana telling her that uh, his three shops got bought, including the goods inside. Problem. Hey, three shops, including the goods, we got bought. Hey! Um, is that why you want to kill yourself? Is that why you want to kill yourself? Eh? If you are the, the supporter that in his shop got burned, uh, you, you, you go and hang yourself. Will you hang yourself? Are you the one that put the fire in the market? Please, as you can see, I am just coming back and I want to rest. Why, why are you talking like that? What kind of language is this? Eh? We are talking of someone's many years of suffering. Hey, Mbanu. Besides, that boy is, is, is your son-in-law to be you. Hey! Hey! Now you are talking. Thank God you say your son-in-law to be. Not yet my son-in-law. When the time comes, if he's capable of marrying my daughter, fine. But if he's not, if you go and fight his match. Uh -uh, you people are disturbing me. Papa, honestly. Papa, are you honestly saying this about someone who lost everything he has worked for? All his life in one day. Papa, are you talking about your son-in-law to be? Your daughter's husband to be? Papa, even if you don't know him, a man who lost everything. All three shops gone, burned down to ashes. And this is what you have to say, Papa. Ah. No, Papa, you shock me, oh. You shock me. No I problem. Don't I don't understand you. Is, is, is this your daughter okay? Is, is She's she okay? very, very okay. What kind of man being are you? Eh? Instead of you to pity the poor boy and, and find a way of helping him, you are here mocking him. I should pity the boy. Eh? Because his shop got burnt, I should lie down and roll on the ground crying. Okay? I should lie down on the ground roll, rolling, crying because his shop got burnt. 
Anyway, thank God you are beginning to understand my point. You just caught him, poor boy, with this your mouth. You caught him, poor boy, with this your mouth. And that is exactly what he is now. That is what he is. My, my friend, go, 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 go give me my food. I did not cook any food, though. You did not cook any food? I did not cook. You did not cook any food? Yes. Just try that. Try that. Come back up on hand. Get him in you. Get him in you. Come back up on hand. Get him in you. 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 Get you. What? Get my, get me my food, though. Beatrice, Beatrice, get me my food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My love, so finally this is true. Hey, how I hoped it wasn't. So how did it happen? What, how, what caused the fire? What did they say? Don't fool. I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm, I'm done for. It's over. It's, it's over now. It's, 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 it's over for you. It's over. No, why would I talk like that? Why? Why? Why not? I mean, till now, nobody has been able to trace the source of the fire. Nobody. Till now, nobody has been able to trace the source of the fire. They said the fire started before 6.20 a.m. Okay. All right. It started from inside. Then they called fire service. By the time fire service came, my whole line had been burnt. Everything burnt. My three shops gone. Not one thing out of the shops. Not one thing. No TV was rescued, no freezer was rescued, nothing. Everything gone just like that. Sopo is finished now. It's over. Look at me. Sopo, huh? you mean the, the, the three shops? Bonds. Bonds. All the shops. God, what kind of what is this? What kind of problem is this, God? What kind of problem is this? How do we? How do we start? I, eh, stop, I, I, I've been willing to ask you. What about your car? The car has been sold now. Huh? Yes, I needed to sell the car and other valuable things, you know, to pay people who gave me goods on credit. Even with selling those things, I'm still owing people. Out of this house to that surplus house to feed in. I want to ask you, what is the meaning of that? Papa, nothing. You know. Uh, you know, since after the fire incident that, you know, took everything that he had, life has not been the same for him. Papa, you know the story now. He can barely eat. So, I can't be eating in this house comfortably when I know that he's somewhere dying of hunger. I mean, it's just food for one person. And I know that we don't lack food in this house. I mean, that's the least thing I can, I can give to anybody. Papa, that's, that's, that's why. Aye. Aye. Let me ask you, the food you are taking to him, are you the one providing the food? Are you contributing anything in this house? Eh? Papa, like I'm supposed to contribute money to food in this house. I don't understand though. Papa, how? How is that even possible? I live in my father's house. Besides, I know you can afford it. It's not like we're suffering. We're not poor. And, hey, Papa, I don't even do anything for a living. You are my father and this is your house and I live here. So I don't know that I'm supposed to be contributing money for food, even if I, I should. Where am I going to get the money from? I'm not working. I'm not doing anything. I'm not selling anything. Ha. Well, thank God you said you are selling your father's house. You are not working anything and you are not contributing anything. That my food we are taking to stop us, I want it to stop. I don't have food to waste to beggars. Papa, please, who is the beggar in this story? Whoever you are taking my food to is a beggar. 
because he doesn't have it. He don't have it, and I want him to stop. Okay, sir. Um, let me also ask you. Since that person you have been taking my food to is no longer doing anything, what are your plans towards him? My plans? How? I don't understand. Some time ago, he came here, telling me that he wants to marry you, and you accepted. Mm. Now that he's not doing anything, he's not as poor as church rat. How is he going to take care of you if you become his wife? Ah, Papa, oh, that is what you are talking about. Ha. As regards that, me, I have not changed my mind. Though. I'm still going to marry him. Either ways. It doesn't matter whether he's poor, rich. I mean, it doesn't matter. He's still my husband to be. I'll marry him. You have not changed anything. Mm -mm. Now let me ask you, if you marry him now, how will you be eating? Papa, anything we see we eat, we will manage, we will be okay. Last, last, we will be alright. You will be managing. And anything you see, you eat. Your wife, you had your daughter. What do you have to tell her? What do you want me to tell her? There's nothing to tell her. She made herself clear. She said she will marry him. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that, you say. But I only see to be a bit of you. From today on, I don't want that boy's name mentioned in this house again. Do you hear me? I don't want that boy's name mentioned in this house again. Else, you didn't have to be not accommodate all of us. You see those men mm. that have been coming here asking for your hand and money before that fool deceived you? Mm. Choose one of them. Okay. Choose one of them and get married to him. Choose one of them. Okay, sir. I've said my mind. Okay, sir. Um, Papa, please let me go back to the kitchen. I was cooking before you called me. In other words, I'm not making any sense. Ah, I did not say so. You have made your point and I heard you. Let me go back to my cooking. We are not fighting. You want to go and cook? Mm. So when you cook, finish, you carry my food and go and give to that supper again. Don't worry, I'm here. Let me see how you will carry my food and pass this place. Hey, Mama, let me go back to my, my, my cooking. Mm. Thank you, sir. <sighs> oh. Talk to your brother. You are working out too. You are working out. Mm. Mm -mm, no, my love. I know you. I know you're a wonderful cook, but you see, this one is different. Uh uh. Mm. You put more love into cooking this. I'm telling you, seriously. My love. Mm. What's going on? Mm? Nothing. Don't tell me nothing. What's happening? What's going on? No, it's it's okay. I'll wait for you to finish eating so that we can talk. No, I'm not going to eat. What's what's happening? Oh, no, I insist. Just finish up your meal and then we we'll talk. No. no, baby, please don't no, don't, don't let me no, ruin I'm done. your appetite. I'm done. Really, I'm done. I'm done. Uh, talk to me. You can't just eat all. No, talk to me, please. What's happening? I can't eat when you're sad. Come on, talk to me, please. Talk to me. Hmm? Come on, talk to me. It's, it's my father. Your father? What about your father? What happened? My father called me and my mom yesterday. Okay. And he warned me against ever bringing food for you. In fact, he said he never wants 
to see me take food out of the compound. And that's not all. He also asked me about my proposed marriage to you. I didn't understand it at first until he went further to say that that now that everything, I mean you've lost everything, your businesses and all, and you don't have anything you're doing right now, that he wants me to totally forget about you and not and not think of think of the marriage proposal. Instead that I should choose I should choose amongst those other people that are coming to ask for my hand in marriage. He said you can barely feed and that you can't feed me. That you can't even feed yourself. Talk more feeding feeding me. You needed to have seen the look on his face when he was saying all this. He meant it. He was serious. He looked scary. You mean he said all that? Yes. And what did your mother say? My mother was on my side. She said, if marrying you will make me happy, then she, she's in support. That it doesn't matter whether you're poor or rich. That if I'm happy, then, then it's fine by her. Ah, life. Life. Ah, so, so because my shops are now burnt, because I am now broke. Your father now, now insults me, calls me all sorts of names because life has taken an ugly turn. Life. I mean, the, the one that hurts me most is, is Cynthia. Innocent Cynthia, what did that girl do? I had to send her back to her parents because I, I'm broke. I can't take care of her and take care of myself too. You mean you sent her back? Of course I had to. I had to. Why are you talking as if you don't know what is going on? Why are you talking as if you don't know my state? I mean, this is food from your house. You bring food to me here from your house. Would I have ordered two flasks? Two flasks will come here. What would that make me? What? It's, it's. Sorry, it's okay. Mm -hmm. One thing I know for a fact is that everything happening now, it's only but temporal. It doesn't matter. It's all going to be fine. God will fix it. Okay? Uh, I, you're, going to, you're going to bounce back. You are going to be on your feet again soon. I believe it. Okay, don't give up. Don't give up, please. It's not the end of the world. It's not the worst that can happen to you. Okay? Don't give up. Um, <clears throat> I'm kind of thinking that there could just be one way out of what out of this. What way? What way? What way? What way? This is my condition. What way? From where? From where? Um, soccer. <sighs> make me a woman. What do you mean, make me a woman? What? What? 
What? It's okay. Gets me pregnant. Stop it. Sir. Serve yourself. Uh, uh, my Milo, I'm fine, sir. No, no, no. Serve yourself, no problem. No. Serve, serve yourself. Milo, I'm, 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 I'm fine. I, I know uh, you're fine. This is Okwego's house. You can't come to Okwego's house and refuse to take something. Serve yourself. Milo, see, the truth of the matter is that, you know, this time, this period, I. Stop I don't or, drink. Or, so stop, I'm not stop drinking. Then, stop it. I know what you like. I know. I, stop yourself. No problem. Stop yourself. If you, if you insist, sir. So. Good on. Stop it. Sir. Um. You see this drink? Yes, sir. I want you to look at this name, and you will see that it's a big drink. So that before you serve yourself, you will ask yourself, after taking this drink today, will you be able to buy it tomorrow? This drink is so expensive, and it is my friend's son that stays abroad that gave it to me. Eh? So that is why I brought it. Because what I'm about to tell you is very, very expensive and very, very important. Huh? So, don't worry. After today, you will know quite well why I serve you this drink. But don't worry, I will serve you myself. Sir, I... Is this one okay? Sir, I don't understand, sir. Don't worry. You will understand. Let me cover me. Aha! Sir, I sent for you. And uh, I know my daughter must have told you what uh, I told her. But in case, if she did not, I will tell you. And I want you to open your ears wide so that you can hear me clearly. So, I want everything you have to do with my daughter, every relationship you, you have with my daughter to end today. Why? Why no? Why? Because my daughter Ugoma is no longer available. My law. How would you say a thing like that now? Well, the reason is simple. I will tell you. I don't want my daughter to go into a man's house and starve herself to death in the name of marriage. You yourself, you know that for the past months now, you are not doing anything. You, you, you are idle. So how will you feed my daughter? How will, you, how will you take care of her? Huh? How will you take care of her? You don't have any job. You don't, nothing. You have even sold your car. Okay, now let me ask you. How do you feel? You know, I don't understand this question. You don't understand? I don't understand. I will tell you. Since you don't understand, I will tell you. All the food stuffs I have in this house, bag of rice, beans, a garden, even palm oil. My daughter has packed all of them to your house. Look at you. Look at how you're shining. You don't even look like somebody that is idle, somebody that is not doing anything. Look at you, how pompous you are, how you're shining. Because I know that my daughter must have packed all my food in your stomach. So, so you see, that is how you feed. Nayo <laughs> Okuego. Please, I mean, with due respect, you, you know me, you know me, you know I was rich, I was doing well, so well for myself, you know the incidents that happened, my shops got burnt in the inferno, I mean, I mean, I was doing well and you know the last goods I ordered, I couldn't pay. I couldn't pay for them and then everything went. You know what happened with the customs? I lost everything all at once. 
If not for that, I was doing well. But I believe I will stand again. This is not the end of me. I will stand again, believing God. Sopporo. Yes, sir. Sopporo. Yes, sir. I get that before not be property. Eh? Hmm? I get that before not be property. The fact is that you are not doing anything. You are jobless. You don't have anything. You cannot feed my daughter. So please, I beg you in the name of God, stay away from my daughter. I don't want to see you take 10, 10, 10, 10 miles close to my daughter. I will not warn you again. Anyway, um, I thank God for this uh, peaceful uh, separation. Because like I said, everything will end today. So. And that is why I brought this expensive wine. Because this thing we discuss here now is very, very expensive. Expensive that if you try any nonsense again, you will not like what I will do to you. Let's cheers for the peaceful separation. Throw the chairs, okay? Well, you are done. You know your way out. I know. No need to stay here because there's no food here to serve you today. Thank God my daughter is not around. She travel. <laughs> I said, come back here. Come here. Papa, Listen, Papa, I'm not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. Come back. Come, 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 come. come. Papa, I'm what are you hiding? I said, come back. Come, come, come here. Come and stand here. Papa, I'm just, um, I'm just going to buy something. I'll come. Let me. You want to go and buy something? Yes, Papa. In Sopro's house. Here. Okay. With my food. Papa, we. Ha. Papa, which food? Which food? Which, then what are you hiding? Bring, bring that bag. I want to see what is inside Papa, that bag. Papa, I'm not holding any bag. Papa, ha. Come close here. Bring that bag. Come and stand here. Come. Ha, Papa, Papa, you, you have to be seen well, though. You have to be seen well because maybe you need your glasses to, 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 to see well. How can you say I'm holding something when I'm not holding anything? Please, let me just go and buy something. You know that was I'm blind. Eh? I can't see well again. I didn't say so. Ugoma, bring that bag. I want to see what is inside that bag. Bring that bag. Papa, because bag. I know that must be my food. You want to take to that stupid boy. So bring that bag. Ugoma, I don't want to get up. Because if I get up, I will hit you with this stick. Bring that bag. Let me have it. Let me have the bag now. Papa, this is not this is not good though. This is not this is not fair. This thing you are doing is not good. If nobody oh. tell you the truth, I will tell you the truth. It's not good. So Ugoma, after all my warnings that I don't want to see you with that boy again, that fool. You still had the God to take my food to him. Okay? Even spoon. Even spoon. So he don't even have spoon. The simplest thing any person can have in this world, spoon. So he's as poor as not having common spoon. Common spoon. Papa, you see your life? Papa, it's not good. This is your character. It's see not your good. life? With all the money that you have in this life, I don't even know what you're doing with money, sir. What are you doing with your money? Get me water. Water for what? Get me drinking water. See, yeah, you, have, you have to change your ways if you must make heaven. No? Because you're just, you're just keeping money and keeping money. The simplest thing to give to anybody in this life is food. You cannot even afford to give, give anybody food. But you're too stingy. Yo. Yeah, man, egg. Aqua Naji. Aqua. Yeah, man, egg. Is, is, is it okay? Give me water. Is it a big deal? Is it a big deal? Papa, see, and change your ways. So. I don't know why. All this money that you're keeping, I don't know why, why you're taking it to. Eh? This money cannot, 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 cannot take it anywhere. Okay? Cannot take it, cannot take it to heaven. Cannot take it to heaven. Let me go and give you the water and rest. In short. Thank you. Give me the water. 
When was the last time you served me this kind of food? And I'm told you the only one you cooked today for that stupid boy. I can't This is the water. Thank but you. But remember that there is God and there is tomorrow. There is God and God is in everybody. He's in all of us. This Thank money you. you cannot you cannot take it to heaven. Even the Bible says feed your enemies. Thank God you know that's what we're using my, my enemy. It's not your enemy. You know. It's not your enemy. As I'm telling you, you what, the Bible, what the Bible, Bible said. You just eat and grow fat though. It's only when you wait. Papa, if you don't grow fat after eating this egg and yam, that's when you will face me. Just eat and grow fat. I'm going to go fat. That's what I'm going to go. You may go down there, okay? I'm not going to go to the book of the I want to ask you one question. Papa, your husband. Why is he so stingy? Mama, since I was born, Papa has not done anything good. He has not shown love to anybody. He has never assisted anybody financially. Not an insider, not an outsider. Why? Look at him. Is your father? Go and ask him. Mama, I saw him before asking you. You and I know that I cannot go and ask Papa that kind of a question. But I'm asking you because you are his wife and you are in the best position to answer me. Wait, too. Oh. Has Papa's stinginess always been, I mean, from the time you people got married? Or somewhere along the line he picked up that trait? Because I'm just confused. I'm wondering if he has always been like this, how have you been managing with him all these years, living with a man like this? <laughs> hey, Mama. Papa's stinginess is not only to outsiders, though. Even we, as his children in this house, we are feeling the heat of his stinginess. Take a look at my brother, Johnson. Where is he? What sent Johnson out of this house? It's not because of Papa's stinginess and unwillingness to give him money to, to, to see him through school. A boy who was willing to go to school. Since two years ago that Johnson left this country, we have not heard anything from him. We don't know if he's doing okay or not. We don't, in fact, we don't even know where he is. Okay. Papa's attitude towards Sopuru. All because the young man suddenly lost everything. Okay, what about me? Am I not Papa's legitimate daughter? Am I not his child? Common money for Jambo. I've been in this house. Papa cannot give me money to go and buy jam form. He said I should go and learn her handwork. For somebody who wants to go to school. Some men are ready to sponsor their children. It's, in fact, it's the children who are not ready to bring their heads down and go to school. But in my own case, I'm ready to go to school. I have a father who can afford it, who has the money. But yes, he said I should go and learn handwork. <laughs> Look at the house we live in. Considering Papa's wealth, are we not supposed to have like a duplex in this compound? Yes, oh yes, he can afford it. But no, he won't. Come on to buy clothes for himself, no way. Papa has been wearing the same set of clothes for like how many years now? All he does with his money is to buy keke upon keke upon keke upon. In fact, Papa wants to fill the entire road with keke. Who does that? That's his only way of showing wealth. Keke, keke, not even reasonable. Keke. Ha, Mama, you have really tried to have married this man up to this level. You have tried. <laughs> Stingy man. I am tired of you, Papa. Can't you see? He's the type that doesn't want anybody to put him out hmm. or to talk to him about anything he's doing. Ah, no one. So I have decided to start my own. Let him do whatever he wants. Hmm. Mama, you have tried though. Okay. Ah! 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 Maybe you have a warm. Mm. Uh, yes. 
Papa, please, oh, Biko, 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 don't call my name and add pregnancy to it, oh. How, how can you call my name and call pregnant? How, how? It's only pregnant people that vomit. Don't you hear? Mama just said that it's possible I have malaria, typhoid, or warm. Yes. If somebody is suffering from either of these three, you can, you can actually vomit now. Ugoma, you're pregnant. You are pregnant. At least I know one when I see it. Papa, you're a doctor. Uh -uh, how can you be sure? What do you mean by that? Ask me, oh! Eh? Can somebody not... Hey! Who got my... Is it true? Are you pregnant? Oh, you are counting one, two, three. Oh, go ahead, be seated. Have you been there? You are counting one, two, three. Woman, have you seen it? Have you seen your daughter? Your daughter is pregnant. Are you not ashamed that you are in this house and your daughter is pregnant? You don't know. Now tell me what makes you a good mother. It's like. Hey! I am not a doctor, but at least I know when, when a woman is pregnant. You taught me that when I married you newly. At least no time you got pregnant without vomiting. And that is not what is happening here now. You see it? And you, I don't even need to ask you where that's what because I know it must be that stupid the boy suffer that uh, 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 put into this. He has offloaded all the energy from my food you have been giving him. He has offloaded them into your, into your stomach. But don't worry, I know what to do. You, you, that least you see your life. Look at your daughter. She's pregnant. You don't know. She say I can't tell what to do. The I be say the I be where they You see, no problem. I know what to do. Hey, stop crying. Stop crying. I'm going to marry her. 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 I'm going to